Hey guys, so just got home. Uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet uh, DLC dropped um, called Walking Wake and Iron Leaves. Um, so there's a lot of questions that haven't been answered about the world of, or the, you know, the region of Paldea. Um, what caused Ground Zero? Uh, you know, the Pokemon that we see in the Scarlet and Violet book, the ones that look like the, uh, the dog trio combined to one and the, the sword trio combined into one. Are those real Pokemon? Um, the hexagonal Pokemon, the one with the crown, it's shaped like a disc. Like, you know, what is that stuff? You know, Paradox Pokemon, are people are still trying to figure out, it's like, okay, wait, you know, the time machine, and people are like, okay, was this thing already built? Did they build it? And if so, if they built it in the present, how are Pokemon coming from the past? If, you know, there needs to be a machine in the past or the future for... So, so many things are unanswered, but this is official Walking Wake and Iron Leaves trailer. Okay, so we're, I don't know if Suicune is a just like a um you know one of a kind mystic Pokemon or if it did have something that looked but ugly like this in the ancient past. Um but when you think of Suicune it's majestic. You know, you think of that giant diamond right on its head. You think of the, the, the mane that it has, the long flowing hair. It's so majestic. You know, it was very nimble and agile, able to leap from place to place without making a sound, purifying, corrupted, and tainted water. And it's just all around just graceful. This thing is but ugly. This is but ugly. Uh, Verizian. This is just Verizian, but metal. <laughs> like, this is, this is what you guys have come up with? You have two, you know, legendary Pokemon, and this is what you've come up with? A butt-ugly Suicune thing and Iron Verizian? You know, it's, it's like, do Paradox Pokemon? Just, what? What? I like people want answers. Like if they teased, you know, the, the pictures that we saw in the Scarlet and Violet book, if they teased the, the Pokemon, you know, that are giving the other Pokemon the ability to terrestrialize, that's what we want. Not this ugly crap. Like great, new paradox Pokemon. Super. But it, I mean, is there going to be another... I mean, I would hope there's another DLC trailer coming out soon enough. You know, because I'm sure this isn't going to come out till like, maybe next year sometime. So, you know, we kind of need some kind of answers. Not not nothing given to us directly, but even with um, uh, Sword and Shield, with a DLC, it at least showed stuff. You know? I just... More answer, you know, more questions are raised now. Like, what about Suicune? Did Suicune exist in the past? And, you know, during, you know, evolution, did it evolve into the graceful Suicune uh, we know? And then Ho-Oh, it's like, well, did Ho-Oh possibly see this this creature? And when the, the three Pokemon in the tower died after it burned, did he just, you know, oh, let me just make them into these animal, uh, the creatures that I've seen before 
because we're we're made to think to believe that that these uh the, the dogs that uh Ho created from the fire are completely like unique like almost like one of a kind but here we see a paradox suiku which means it must have existed somewhere in the distant past because it's like primals there is primal looking which is means it's from the distant past and this you know mechanic uh iron meaning it's from the distant future so were there suikuns running around in the past and if so did they look like this I mean, a lot of the time they'll take like um, mega forms and like um, Salamence. What's it called? I can't remember his paradox form, but his paradox form looks very similar to a mega Salamence. Or how Aerodactyl is pretty much said that that's pretty much what it looked like in the distant past. That the Aerodactyl we know, the, the rock colored, uh, the rock type, that's not what it looked like. Um,. So, unfortunately, this is very well possible that Suicune did exist in the past, and it looked like this. And then over time, it just went from to boom, and the graceful, nimble, agile Suicune we all know and love. But, you know, then you have these ones from the future. It's just their lazy designs. They're just the Pokemon, but mechanic. You know, they're just shiny. It looks exactly like Verizian. The, the Tyranitar one looks exactly like Tyranitar. Nothing major. That's it's, it's not like a huge difference. Like, this looks nothing like the Suicune we know and love. You know, you have, you have Paradox Pokemon from the past. You know, you have, like, the Donphan-looking one. And they look very different from what they look like now because they're primal. But then it's like this lazy design of, oh yeah, they're going to look exactly alike, except one's metal and one's not. I mean, come on, Pokemon. Come on. We don't want to be doing this Digimon bull crap. You know, taking a, a fresh coat of, you know, taking a Digimon and just different coat of paint, like Agumon. There's Agumon, Toy Agumon, Clear Agumon, Ice Agumon, and they all look the same, except a different coat of paint. That's exactly what this crap is. It looks like Verizian, just metal. Don't be doing that Digimon bull crap. That's why Digimon has like freaking a thousand plus Digimon in the, the list, because they just, they just take one Digimon and like, oh, let's make an ice version. Let's make a fire version. Let's make a dark version. Let's make a water version. Let's do a toy version. <laughs> don't do that. Stop it. Get some help. Um, but I don't like this Suicune. You know, we know it's a dog in present day, but here it's a water dragon. It has no similarity between the Suicune we know. And, uh, Verizian, just lazy design right there. Come on. What do you have to say about it, Sam? He's like, no, sir, I don't like it. Ah, your feet are cold. What? Mwah. What do you think about these Pokemons? Yeah, right up there. You like them? You like them? No, oh, sir, I don't like it. But I certainly hope that there's more DLC trailers coming out um, because I definitely want to see the hexagonal Pokemon. And, you know, if there's a Suicune variant of a Paradox Pokemon, is there going to be an Entei? Is there going to be a Raikou? And what about Verizian? If there's a cybernetic Verizian, what about Terrakian or Kabalian? What about Keldeo? Are there going to be cybernetic versions of them? You know, paradox versions. Go on. Scoot your booty. You know, and are, are we possibly, like, is this just, they're going to be a new batch of them? Are we going to see, like, a paradox Ho-Oh and Lugia? Uh, you know, Kyogre and Groudon? I'm like, but I just, 
I just I don't like the designs of these. The other Pokemon, some of them look really cool. Like I said, Salamence looks really cool. How it looks like Mega Salamence. Mega Salamence is just a beast. Um, you know, Magneton kind of like how he like walks on like these weird leg type things. Uh, Jigglypuff, the sharp little teeth. You know, some of them are good. Some of them are bad. This. The cyber ones are just downright lazy. They're just taking them. There's nothing changing anything about them. It's like the same colors, the same design. Just look, they're shiny. But anyway, we don't want Digimon. Or keep your Digimon away from our Pokemon. It's like 15,000 Gabumons and like 10,000 Agumons and just. We don't need to take like the same Pokemon and be like, oh look, it's just cybernetic now. Oh, it's an ice. You know, oh, it's clear. It's just... and yeah, there is a clear Agumon. You see through. Anyway, that's gonna do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.